So it's been three years since Man of Steel came out in theaters. For you guys, how much time did you have in between shooting? I had a lot more than Zach. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> when you finally stepped onto this set, did it mm -hmm. seem like it had just been yesterday, though? Yeah, I mean, maybe uh, I won't need a gray wig by the time we do the <laughs> next one. I don't know how long they're going to take to film it. I mean, I'm, I'm half kidding, but um, it kind of seemed like we were a repertory theater company getting back together mm -hmm. again, and it was, it was wonderful. And it was great to see Henry again, and it was amazing to me how he'd gotten even bigger with his physique because mm -hmm. he didn't have to achieve it out of the blue in the middle of his life. He could keep it going mm -hmm. from one film into the next. So. I was happy for him. I mean, he didn't need anything but paint on his body. He could achieve the costume. <laughs> exactly. It's incredible. I actually was talking to him about that. He said that the training this time around was so much more intense than the first time. Really? And I, I think that just because he kind of had to have a certain body type as if he had been fighting and rescuing people for the last <laughs> 18 months in the film. Well, no matter what shape you're at, it has to be harder to get you further. So it has to be harder. True. You have to always switch it up. Yeah. I actually was talking to Lawrence Fishburne and he said that one of his favorite scenes is when Batman busts in and meets Martha Kent for the first time. <laughs> and he says the line, I'm a friend of your son's. What was it like <laughs> shooting that scene with him? Oh my gosh. It was interesting. It was I, I was so impressed to see him in his Batman regalia and, and you know, there's Ben and I know Ben from working with him in another film where he played the actor who portrayed Superman. George Reeves mm -hmm. in, in a Hollywood true story, you know, of, 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 of his life, uh, tragic ending, but interesting story. So anyway, there's just a lot of superhero things floating around. <laughs> yes. But there is a lot of intensity in that scene. I mean, your mascara is running down your face, your hair is everywhere. You've been like really disheveled. Mm -hmm. Was it a really intense scene when you're actually filming it? Oh yeah, definitely. I don't know. I mean, that's, I apologize, I don't have more to say about it, but yes. <laughs> no matter what generation you grew up in, you're a Batman fan because there are so many Batman films. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But of all the Batmans, who's your favorite? Adam West. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, he was my, he mm -hmm. was just fun and funny and witty and there was Robin, his mm -hmm. cohort, and I just felt, um, it wasn't as scary as it is now, you know? It's gotten scarier and scarier, yes. and certainly <laughs> Nolan's influence on the whole thing. Um, so, I, it's, it's become more interesting. Mm -hmm. For Halloween, have you ever played, or have you ever dressed up as one of the characters from the Batman realm? No, I usually just put on like some kind of rainbow wig and give out candy. So, <laughs> I enjoy it's it. It's easy. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy it. Hollywood. Thanks for watching this interview. As always, don't forget to subscribe and let us know what you think in the comment section below. For the next Made in Hollywood interview, click right here. Do it. Click it. <laughs>